Salute to all my people. Y'all the like money driving already. We're going to talk about damn DPOV and his advice that he gave to Kwame. Um, like I said, it's pretty much dead content. It's just conversational, y'all. Something to just, you know, sit around and, and chat about. Like I said, I ain't really been on YouTube. But when I dotted on, I caught a few few contents. And, you know, I seen that he gave some advice that said that Kwame Brown needs to create another channel. That basically he addressed all his detractors or, you know, some along those lines. Me, personally, y'all, when I, when I really sit back, you know, just my honest opinion, don't knock to what damn do you feel like. A lot of people feel like that's great advice. At the end of the day, everybody, their own individual, man, everybody going to make their own decisions. Now, from an income standpoint, you know, of course, that makes sense. You know, you get some more money to talk about these clowns. But, you know, in the grand scheme of, in the, in the grand scheme of everything, I think that would be the worst thing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, not just Kwame, anybody, anybody to make a page. If you got a, if you got a major platform, y'all, we're just going to say this on the conversation. On salute the damn D. I'm conversational. Anybody, if you have a massive platform, and clearly everybody wants your attention, because clearly when you really sit back and analyze everything, a lot of the guys is dissing, you know, whoever, dissing Kwame and a lot of these other guys, they don't know them in real life. These dudes, they never took no food off your table. And as pertaining to Kwame, a lot of these dudes, they just do it because it's algorithm things, right? So when you really sit back and think about it, the worst thing you can do is create a page to give them attention. Now you will start to get, you will start to get more detractors. You will start to get more people than you ever seen go at you because it's like a pick me. Everybody want to be picked. Everybody want to be, let me, if I go ahead and let's see if you talk about me on that page. Everybody looking for a way for their platform to grow. And a lot of people don't figure it out that they don't, they don't get no views. A lot of these dudes views, if y'all really sit back and look at the dudes who was going at Kwame. A lot of these dudes that sat back and made their platform and, and, and only how they can go up a little bit is if they talk about the man. The minute he responds to him, it helped them get bigger. That's what I told y'all. It really made no sense. It really made no sense for me and nobody else to entertain. You know, you punch up, you don't punch down. You know, these dudes is at the bottom with them little bitty subscribers and them little bitty views. The only time they get views is if they throw a, a wild lie out there. They say the lie is more important than the truth if it's entertaining. Because people want to be entertained. They don't care if it's a lie. They don't care what. At the end of the day, if you can entertain them with the lie, they'll believe the lie. Today's time, it's like the truth is what you can make somebody believe. It don't got to be factual. <laughs> Most of the things that I see on the internet, not only about me, but many other guys, those that I've seen and I watch they, I watch they grind. And not only on our sector, y'all, YouTube is a big place. And it's a lot of the fun, it's a lot of dysfunction as pertaining our people, right? So when you really sit back and you look at our people, um, it's always somebody on the other side making up the most wildest lies about this person. And that's the one that people sitting around paying attention to. I say all that to say, um, you know, creating another page would be the worst thing possible, especially if you're going to create the other page just predicated on responding to people that's nothing. No, nobody's in life. They're just trying to get their page off the ground. You will soon find out that everybody with smaller platforms or maybe even guys that got a little bit of traction, but they're trying to get more traction. They will come at you more and more and more because they're trying to figure out how can I make it to that page? They, they don't care what page is on. They're going to respond to you from any page that you put at the forefront for the people to see. Right. So you can be just the, just the response to them on that page. Yeah, to get you some traction, to get you some more money. But only thing it's going to do is give all these bums on YouTube, you know, even more ammunition. Because a lot of these dudes, you got more groupies in, in men than in women. You know, a lot of these dudes is groupies. They just want to hear another man say their name. They just want to see another man respond. That's why these dudes say, you know, they won't put me in the title. They won't say my name. In the title. Why does it mean so much for you that you get your name in the title for somebody you don't even like? You know why? Because that brings traction your way. You get what I'm saying? Now, aside of that, kids, man, I'm doing this video and this is irking my nerves right here. Seeing that yellow paint, boy, my <laughs> my daughter, kids do some of the craziest things. Now, but at the end of the day, you got to love them. Now, my daughter done took and put yellow on the dang on wall, paint on the wall. So that's here and over there. At the end of the day, uh, a lot of these dudes are struggling on YouTube. And a lot of these dudes, they claim they was something on YouTube. They claim they was the algorithm. When you look at them, they was up for a minute. And the minute, the minute people that got bored with the conversation they send or they start talking about other things, the numbers go right back down. So why would you create a platform predicated on helping them build their platform? Because at the end of the day, it does nothing for somebody that you know already have conquered 400,000 subs and beyond and got a, and got an audience that really love what you do. It's a lot of guys that done fell off. Cool. Those are the ones that wasn't supposed to be for you. They always told me my life is tailor made for me. The people that's meant for me, that's meant for you, everybody that's watching this, even in your real world, the things that's meant for you is tailor made for you. You don't have to create no platforms to, you know, um, well, in my opinion, you don't have to create no platform to give all these bums life. And you will start to see it will be even more detractors if you create a page strictly on responding to them because now everybody got that pick me syndrome. Everybody want to be seen. Everybody want to be, oh, I'm going to talk about me on that page so they can run back to their page. 
and create some content because they know their page is struggling without you. In my opinion, that's my opinion. Salute the damn D, man. That's a good conversation. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I believe in, you know, let's have some real conversations, real dialogues. A lot of times you don't have everybody number directly. You don't got everybody email. You know, we, we create content to respond to things, especially if you're a reactional page. And so that would be my reaction to that. And outside of that, I pray y'all have a good night. Man, I've been enjoying my rest. Boy, the summer, the, I mean, the season is changing. Um, y'all, man, get y'all some sun, boy. You know, raise them kids with love. Get out on the playground, take some time with them. You know, life is real, but it's you no, know, it's definitely more real when you're surrounded by love and people that truly care about you. And you always doing everything you can to reach back and help somebody that may have less than you have. Say a prayer for those that are sleeping on the bridge tonight. Those that may not have as much as you. Each one, teach one. As long as we have each other, we can continue to grow together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about you know damn D and what he said to Kwame Brown. Some say it's some good advice. But me, like I say, it's some good advice if you, if you want to make some more income and all that. But I feel as though it's going to create even more, you know, whatever, you know, detractors or, or haters or guys that just simply want to be in the pick me state. Everybody want to be seen. Everybody want to be heard. They know their platforms is nothing without certain names. So they use them for algorithm. But the minute you start to give all of them attention, you're getting ready to get you a lot more because everybody wants the attention. Sadly, each one teach one. Love and respect.